What up guys, welcome back to another video. Now I know some of you guys might be expecting the video Brakes versus Brakeless. That's gonna come up in the next day or so. I had a call from a very special person that I haven't seen in a very long time since the Incline Club days. Shaw Daddy in the house. What up, dog? What's good? How you been? People haven't good. seen you in forever. Yeah, I've been busy. Moved back uh, from Arizona, just showing you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so he hit me up the other day and was like, yo, I'm trying to ride, come down to your area. I was like, absolutely, let's do this. So we're gonna hit up here at Newport Skate Park. He's never been here. And then we're gonna go to a DIY spot that you guys have seen in past videos of mine called 7th Street. So we're gonna get some clips right now and uh, head on over to the next spot. So guys, I like how we have the entire skate park and Matt points out this random box on top of the concrete berm for our session. Uh, it's been, been pretty fun. It's getting us all prepped up for the DIY spot, but we're gonna get a couple more clips on the regular ramps, pack it up and head over there. Let's test out the wall. Yes, yeah, you might want to check it, make sure it's... <laughs> Oh my god! I know it's in my foot! <laughs> Go back to the brakes, bro! I had no idea these things even existed. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Dude, I found this under the deck. I've never seen a ripstick scooter. And I think this is like Frankenstein setup. This thing's pretty sketchy. I'm probably gonna die. What? Who would invent? This. this is so much work. Damn it, Santa, baby. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> here, here. Now, let me show you how it's done, all right? Hold on. Sorry, guys. We have to interrupt some riding clips for this, because this is probably a little more entertaining. We want to see. We want to see him fall, for sure. <laughs> Get it! <laughs> Dude, Zero put control. your back foot on first. You have to put your back yeah. foot on. Yeah. Keep it stable, like a skateboard. And then I don't know. Like I don't know. Just that's, that's, my, that's my thought. Everybody needs it. to appreciate this mustache. You all need <laughs> to appreciate it. <laughs> yes! Yo, yeah, you got it. See, that's what's coming down. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Turn! <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, so Gene at Newport Skate Park had that donated to the skate park. He said nobody's ever used it before. He actually gave it to me now. And I want you guys to drop a comment below on how you guys think I should incorporate that on the channel. I just had like a perfect vision of cutting the neck of it off and attaching it to the back end of my frame and making like a cool drift bike. So if you like that idea, give it a thumbs up or give your ideas down below. Sorry for that last clip abruptly ending, but I'm over here at a chiropractor right now. I ended up pulling a muscle that I hadn't pulled in probably six or seven years. And when I did, it was one of the most excruciating pains I've ever had. And I quickly remembered the pain and I didn't want to move. I just stopped, I sat up on the deck and uh, was like, dude, I can't ride anymore. So right now I'm sitting in front of the chiropractor's office. I'm waiting for him to show up. He's gonna hook me up to some electric shock therapy and I'm really hoping it'll get me moving around because I'm having a lot of trouble standing up and uh, I'll just keep you guys updated, so stay tuned. Jacob Ross just made it to the offices. He's gonna hook me up and uh, we're gonna see if he can fix me. <laughs> Matt is helping me out right now and uh, this is pretty tough. We got two people trying to squeeze through a door. So. I'm gonna let Matt film when I get in here and get my back shocked up and, and uh, see what going? the doctor has to say. All right, I'm gonna lay face down. Dr. Jacob Ross is going to hook it up. I am completely effed right now. I'm hoping he gets me mobile, be able to walk out of here and uh, be a normal human being. So we'll leave the camera duties up to Matt and he can uh, show you guys what the shock therapy stuff looks Might like. Might not be a good time to let you know, but your shoes untied. Both my shoes are untied. Let me take them off. No, you're fine. Real joke. Right, I'm going to be poking, so i got to figure out what's wrong. All right. And you said you're feeling the pain more on this side or the other side? It's, it's on both, but I feel more on my right. Is that painful? Just slightly. It's like a six. Does that increase at all? We'll do it again. I'm just poking through. No, I'm saying do it again on the bottom part, yeah. Kinda, not really, no. I just, I thought it did. Okay. This leg? Easy. Any pain? On the, it's just tight, really it's tight. tight. But no yeah. increase. No increase. No increase, but it feels like it wants to do something, like pop or something. Oh, a little bit there. A little bit there. Is the pain here? No, it's upper and more to the right. Upper and more over here? Mm hmm It's like right there where your finger is. Okay, so I'm going to lift this leg up. So we'll do it gently. Oh. Any pain? Yeah. Underneath my hand or on the right side? Right side. Right. But the thing is, the pain goes into this groin area, my left groin area. Yeah. Any pain there? It's just tender, kind of. On the right? On the right. No increase, it's just stagnant. No increase. It, it goes up to about here, though. Yeah, there. All right, we'll do this on the side. It's probably gonna hurt. Oh. Right with my hand? Oh, a little more? Yeah. What you do is keep this leg straight and lift up as high as you can. The right leg? Yep. Good. Now do the other leg. Is that painful? No, it's just super tender on the muscle. Right there, you see it. Just give me warnings. Oh, Any pain? I guess six. That's no pain, that actually relieves something. That does relief. Yeah, when you press down, it relieves. And it, but it, when you lift up, it leaves like a dull pain. Pain there. Um, yeah. So, it seems to be a pelvic issue. So, I'm going to try to numb it up first, but you do get adjusted. So, okay. I'm going to put some really strong stem on there to try to make it not as tender mm -hmm. so I can do the adjustment. The problem is this right here, mm -hmm. when you land it, shift from the sting in this position here. 
So it's definitely from here. That's why you're feeling the pelvis. The pelvis comes all the way up to here. Okay. You're feeling it there. That's the top of the pelvis. And it's making you go in spasm. So there's different types of electric stem. I'm gonna run a really strong one. Okay. So I am gonna block the first though. Tell me no, okay, just, you know, just slightly roll this up. Go back down. The way that you can land and do this is what you did to your pelvis. It puts a lot of pressure on the nerves, mm -hmm. which makes these large muscles in the back here go in full spasm, which okay. you're noticing. So this muscle here is what makes you lift your leg initially. It's called the psoas muscle. Yep. And that's why that's so, so much in spasm. So that's what we're going to try to calm down first with the stem and then correct the problem that you did second. So I'm going to start bringing this up. Okay. Tell me when you first start feeling it. Feel it. Now tell me when it's... I feel it more in my spine than on my... Than on my uh... You're going to feel it more there. So we're focused on the nerves going to the muscles. Okay. Um, so tell me when it gets borderline unbearable. Right there. Okay. Good. Oh my gosh, that's actually a little too much. Back in. So we do want this to be strong. How's that feeling? I just, I went in by too much. I just felt like it was about to lock me up. Yeah, so we want to do about there. So we're going to bring it back up. Okay. Mm, all right. Okay. You can, uh, it's not the same spot. You can go a little more. Right there. All right, perfect. So I'm going to be back. I'm going to spray some biofreeze down here to calm it down too. And I just want to let you sit here for 15 minutes. Okay. Oh my gosh. So. Give you guys an update on what it feels like. It feels like, ah oh man, it feels like, I can't even explain it. It just feels like a bunch of little micro needles going a million miles an hour on me. And it feels, I'm getting relief. It's painful, but not as painful as what originally happened. So I am getting relief from it. Um, this is gonna feel cold. Okay, this happened, something similar to this happened to me like years ago. And um, yeah, I'm just happy to be able to have been introduced to this. A lot of you guys might have your own opinion on chiropractors, but I think that a chiropractor puts you back in alignment to what you were, and that's why you more frequently go to see them to stay in alignment. Um, and given what we do here on bikes and skateboards or whatever you do, you, I feel like, required a little more than a normal human being. All right. You're gonna feel some crazy sensations as that sinks in. Okay. It's just gonna feel really cold, but. It doesn't feel as intense anymore though. Should I, I'm not saying that like. Don't mind me up, I can bring it up a little bit more. I just didn't know if you, I, I have a hot pain punch, I just didn't know what you needed, that's all. No, I want this to be pretty much when you're ready to say, hey, this is starting to be uncomfortable, because okay. it's a moment. Okay. Just bring them all the way up. Don't let them do that. <laughs> it's, I'll let you know if you give a thumbs up. Okay. All right, I see the muscles starting up. All right, and we're gonna back it down just a hair. All right, all right so we'll let it sit there. I'll be back when it beeps. Okay. It feels good, but it's super painful. I can tell you when it's about to happen. Like, right now I'm good. It's right now. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. This is so gnarly. But so satisfying at the same time. I'm really curious. If any of you guys, anybody else watching this has like any back issues or if you've ever had to be hooked up like this and if it's worked for you. I got some riding to do this coming week, man. Yeah, you're probably yeah. out of alignment because of all that hair, dude. I know, I need Jeez. a haircut. I'm trying to grow it out, dude. I'm trying to get a man bun. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I don't want not. a man bun. No, he's not. No man bun. Next video of man bun. Do you let everybody know you're filming on an iPhone now? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sure they can tell the quality. Nah, I think it looks pretty clear through the screen. So what you essentially do is mildly sprain your back. So when you do that, you're gonna have a little bit extra motion in some spots so you can feel that way. I mean, the spasms are already better. I can tell you that. I can feel them, but muscle tone is about equal. Mm -hmm. So now it's gonna be about inflammation and everything else is settling in. All right, guys, we are out of the chiropractor's office right now. I am able to walk on my own. No issues, sore, that's for sure. Um, again, I apologize for that video ending so abruptly. I am gonna be meeting back up with Shaw Daddy pretty soon. I wanna take him to Pastrana's. 
I do plan on doing those videos here in the next couple days. Once I'm feeling a bit better, I want to do the brakes versus brakeless and uh, be on the lookout for that. If you like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.